Anna Anderson and her attorneys announced a wrongful death lawsuit against the company today in Center City. Anderson's daughter, Nyla, died last December after taking part in the blackout challenge. Eight-year-old Leilani Walton, nine-year-old Ariana Arroyo, two little girls, fatal victims, attorney Matthew Bergman says, of TikTok's dangerous design. You wouldn't put your 16-year-old child in a car with 400 horsepower, no seat belts, and bad brakes. Well, it's the, kind of the same thing. Uh, you wouldn't put a child uh, in a environment, in, in a virtual uh, environment such as TikTok, uh, that uh, exposes them uh, to such uh, dangerous uh, materials. Blackout challenge, as it's called, and died of self-asphyxiation. The wrongful death lawsuit alleges the app's algorithm repeatedly exposed the child to the blackout challenge. We put out a video, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's concerning the FCC chairman who is asking Apple and um, Google to block TikTok, remove it from their app sites. As of the beginning of the week, there has been no major response. As far as we know, they're going to continue to keep these this app on the site. And we discussed how dangerous, how dangerous this particular app is uh, mental health, uh, basically physical injuries, uh, many things that are going on. And most of all, you know, since this company is run by China, your information is ending up in your in their hands. Very important information it's about you, your life, your, your characteristics. Everything is headed to China. And you may know yourself, well, how important am I? And you are. You are important to them because they're trying to take over your lives by, do, by doing this propaganda. And they're trying to brainwash you as much as they're doing brainwashing uh, the Uyghurs and Mo Muslims in their concentration camps. This is, like I said, this is a dangerous app. You know, you might think you might brush it off on there, but you don't realize. And there are people in the academic world, as far as the medical fields and all that, are starting to investigate. Now, you may not care for the FCC chairman, who is a Trump appointee, but he is straight on. And Trump saw the issues on this. He's not a stupid man. He's a businessman. He knows when there is something wrong with something. He sees it better than the average person for the reason is he's in business. He's supposed to see these things. But what we found out recently, this was over the weekend, and I got this off the India Times, uh, but uh, also there are other outlets starting to report this. Lawsuit filed as seven children allegedly died due to TikTok blackout challenge. TikTok is facing multiple lawsuits from parents who claim that their kids died of strangulation attempts, uh, the blackout challenge on the platform. The most recent lawsuit has been filed by the parents of an eight-year-old, uh, Lalani Walton, and a nine-year-old, Ari Arano, uh, Tawana Anderson, and the mother of a 10-year-old Pennsylvania girl, Nyla Anderson, is also suing TikTok, alleging that the app pushed exceedingly an unacceptable dangerous challenge. Here's what the challenge is. What TikTok is saying and what the lawsuit claims, how many kids allegedly died due to the blackout challenge. Reports claim seven kids have died so far due to this challenge. A 10-year-old in Italy died in January of 2021. A 12-year-old died in Colorado. In the U.S. died in March 2021. A 14-year-old in Australia who died in 2021. A 12-year-old in Oklahoma who died in July of 2021, and another 10-year-old in Pennsylvania who reportedly died in December of 2021, according to multiple reports. What is the blackout challenge on TikTok? The blackout challenge on TikTok encourages users to choke themselves with belts, purse, strings, or anything similar until passing out. Another form of this challenge asks users to hold their breath until they pass out 
what does this lawsuit claim? Some of the lawsuits allege that the kids were not searching for the challenges when they saw the videos. Instead, TikTok put it right in front of them and the app main screen, the For You page. The suit, as per reported in The Verge, accuses the company of having specifically curated and determined that these blackout challenge videos featured users who purportedly strangulated themselves until losing consciousness. A recent study recently found that 16% of toddlers aged 3 to 4 are now on TikTok. The age restrictions on TikTok are so easy to fool that a toddler can do it, and they often do. And this number of toddlers on TikTok is only projected to grow, and these toddlers will be victims of all the things I've just spoken about. We have no idea the damage this will do to the younger generation. But let's not forget, TikTok is complicit in all of this. As these children grow up, they are going to be exposed to increasingly depraved content. Their culture, their personality and identity will be shaped by TikTok. These young impressionable toddlers are being shaped by TikTok's algorithms. And only time will tell what effect this will have in the future. But are appropriate and fitting for small children. It brings the claims for strict liability based on TikTok's failure to provide adequate warnings to minor users and their, their parents that TikTok is an addictive and directs vulnerable users to highly dangerous and harmful challenges, including but not limited to blackout challenge. The addictive quality of TikTok's product and its tendency to direct young users to highly dangerous challenges are unknown to minor users and their parents. Not the first dangerous challenge on TikTok. It seems to be a, a to be long. This is not the only dangerous challenge that the alleged spread on TikTok. There are several others. Earlier this year, a 12-year-old boy said to have suffered suffered up to 35% burn injuries on his body in a TikTok fire challenge. A list of some similar challenges on TikTok include uh, Benadryl challenge, the silhouette challenge. Beer basketball challenge, the cha cha slide challenge, throat in the air challenge, tooth filling challenge, morning after pill challenge, NyQuil chicken trend, milk crate challenge, Orbeez shooting. The 12 year old who burnt himself 35% of the body of fire tells people not to be a follower. And this is true. This is what I was said in my last video, and I said how dangerous, how dangerous. TikTok is. They push these things. They push this forward. As much as I disapprove against Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, videos like this don't really show up on there. Yeah, there have been some challenges that because of the algorithm gets up there, but if it becomes dangerous, most of these websites yank it down. There are other issues with these American web uh, social media sites that I have with them. And that basically is something separate beyond what is going on on TikTok. TikTok, and I've shown the videos on there, they push mental instability on their forefront. They are testing the grounds of how much danger they can put a child in as far as their safety, as far as their lives, you know, Here's the point, and it was the header of my other video on there, is check on your children, folks. If you have children, they're on TikTok, get them off of TikTok. There is no protection on this site. You think that basically that you put on safe, the safety features on, tw on TikTok, you're getting those safety features. No, you are not understand this get them away from this the addiction is growing mental health services are doing their research they are um, psychologists and and doctors that are sitting there and looking at this now they're looking at tiktok specifically and the dangers that they're putting people in
The best part is, TikTok's damage is very insidious. Almost no one knows about this. The research is only just beginning to appear. And if TikTok keeps growing and expanding as it is, we're only going to hear more and more of these terrifying tales in the near future. We have no idea the long-term damage this is doing, and yet the younger generations are being completely addicted to the app. I mean, how many of your friends and family are already addicted to the app? The worst part is that this pipeline is all deliberate. This is just part of a plan. It's manufactured, which is why TikTok is considered the world's biggest cyber threat. This is the part that makes TikTok a matter of genuine concern and a threat to national security. You know, one of the best places to see what's going on and the insanity on that is libs of TikTok on Twitter. People chastise her for putting up one there, but it's the truth. This is what's going on there. The people that are, that are spewing the way they're spewing, you know, most of them are insane. Look at what they're saying. Look at the words that are coming out of their mouth. And a lot of them are doing it as, you know, for points. That's how insane that this is. They're trying to be famous on TikTok by, by pretending to be insane and doing insane things. They're putting themselves over the edge. People complained years ago, decades ago. You know, they said, you know, they said about Superman. And basically, kids will be jumping off the wall and all that. This is what this is what they warned about that's happening on TikTok. People are doing things that has been okayed by the site by through ByteDance and saying, "Go right ahead. This is what you should be doing." Now you have deaths involved, you know, multiple deaths, all these challenges and stuff like that. You know, it's taking away from the real challenges that were was okay. You know, you had that cold water challenge where you, you know, threw ice water at someone for charity. That was okay. Then it turned into this nightmare. This total dystopian nightmare when it comes to a site of this nature. As a business point of view, China needs to be pushed out of the United States. And I'm talking about business-wise. We have Chinese Americans here who struggle hard to get into this country for the reason is they know what is going on in China. They know what their government did to them and they escaped from it and to come into this country to be safe. They have warned us, many of them, of what China is capable of. TikTok is another level of propaganda in a propaganda war. The Nazis did it in World War II, and several other countries have done it in the, in the past as well. Propaganda wars start at one level, and always they, get, they try to get at the children. If they get at the children, they have control. Understand that. Understand that. They're killing our children. When will this when will our government realize that and shut it down? When will Apple and Google realize this completely and shut it down? They have themselves have shut down other Chinese companies for less, for just taking information. This is a major danger. So please comment below, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. We will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now. It's time that these dangerous challenges come to an end, that other families don't experience the heartbreak we live every day.